In this video, I am going to show you guys how to activate your API services for your Roblox game. Hey guys, it's Blockstevs back here for another video, and Blockstevs is here to make you learn how to create awesome Roblox games. And as you probably heard at the beginning, I am here because I am going to show you guys in this video how to activate your API services for your Roblox game, which is really important because sometimes something doesn't work in the game, except for the backpack or the shop, and that is because you did not activate the API services in your game. So it would work if you test it as the actual game when publishing it, but it wouldn't work in Roblox Studio. So this is why you activate the API services. So in Roblox Studio, when you test, it acts exactly like if you tested the game itself. So basically what you see in Roblox Studio when you test will be exactly what happens in the actual game. But before beginning, like and subscribe in the next four seconds or you will become like him so you better do this fast all you have to do is go and create wait for it to load and find the game so yeah you're gonna see all your games here and those are all your published games so if you want to know how to publish simply go back to your roblox studio find your game go file publish roblox and it should bring up this window name your game which is going to be tutorial for me even if this is probably not, not why you're going to name it tutorial api and just if you want to know if you want to put a description then just put a description but uh, i have a really good description so this is the description and you can as well just make it whatever you want computer phone tablet console is a bit different but i'll just let it like that and as well who's the creator and the genres you decide and all that don't don't do something like this because that's not going to be really good and after all you're gonna have to do is hit this create button and you're gonna wait a little and this is gonna say successfully publish okay and it will be defaultly published as private and you can change it um, right by just going back here and refresh this page page wait a bit because you gotta wait obviously and you're gonna find your place here as you can see it says private you're gonna go over here and you're going to configure the game and you can change from private to public and as well this is how you enable your studio access to API services and to do this you simply go over and click here and it will enable the studio API access so it's as simple as that you click save and the API access will be successfully applied I hope you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe or you know what would happen to you <laughs> and see you after the next video.